everybody, welcome back to Vintage Story Season 2, Episode 11 with me, Sid. And uh, last episode, we, well, we got a few more light sources. So we got another torch holder. We also picked up a uh, thing of hoof what's in the jiggerator. Uh, we have got down here our cellar, and that is all intact. And got some stuff which is going to keep fresh for a while. And uh, food is starting to look better. We also took an opportunity, oh, if you like, again, we took an opportunity to go out for a little stroll and we went over that direction. Uh, no, no. So you're hitting J for journey map, I know I keep saying that. And we, we hit, where are you? Here, this. This is a massive settlement with loads of ruins and stuff. Um, we do need to go back. There is so much loot we left there. It's untrue. But I basically... And there's another bit there look, going on. I'd be, be surprised if that's not actually... You know, there's... There's areas that could be... That looks suspicious. That was just basically straight south from there. So that's a trader without a doubt. So there's lots of things to do. Um, I've got to get more stuff, more um, of these, but we also need to make more of this lot. And I need to work out how I want to do my storage, where I want my storage. You know, there's... This at the moment is very much things. Now, we've upgraded very much a work in progress. We have upgraded to 18.8, .8, which is running .NET 7. Um, you probably won't be able to hear this because all being well I will be hammering and editing out the um, background audio but my GPU fan is going absolutely mental so uh, that is a thing uh, and of course we had our first um, first temporal storm which uh, thing so we have got onions so we will pick up the, the grown onions and I will re-sow those. We've got 37. I don't know whether there's anything else approaching ripe. Doesn't look like it. No, that's all. So we've got one, two, three. There's our onions. We can put those away. Lovely. Uh, and I'm fairly certain. I'm going to have to have a look at my settings if it is this. If running .NET 7 is going to make my GPU run quite so mentally. Um, also on the map, just if we centre on us, there is a gravestone there we still need to go and loot. There is something over here we still need to go and loot with some peat. So we could take a trip over in that direction. Let me go and put these uh, onions away before they... Well, they're not going to rot overnight, are they? They aren't going to go, oh, you walked away and ignored me. I'm rotted. Um, and obviously... I do want to push forward and build the castle, or at least be working in that direction, but um, there's an awful lot to do, and we're going to have winter before long, and winter is going to be that thing where, you know, we, we have to sit there and I'm going to probably grumble about how long winter takes. So... I think first things first, I'm just going to go and grab the, what loot I can from these cut these markers on my map. Because um, I've got food, I'm not desperate, well I am desperate, I'm still, I'm still not out of the woods when it comes to food, but I'm also not, um, in, not in significant danger either, I think is the, probably the easiest way of thinking about it, you know, the, the food situation is under control. And I am in favour of kind of wandering around doing this anyway, because I've found so many copper deposits over areas that I thought I'd previously checked just by wandering back through the same location. And it, it is somewhat crazy. Oh, there's a gear and some chest contents. Uh, can I... Oh, I can. So I could take you back with me. All right. Um, let me just put you down for a second. How big are you? 
I mean, you're, you're a mess, though. Do I really? No, I don't. Let's just knock it down. Uh, and we'll, we'll destroy that as well. Oh, can I actually? I think, mm, I think I can. Gives me the option of a graveyard, I suppose, at some point in the not too distant future. Okay, let's have a look. Map. Delete. So, the next one is straight over that way, and we're just going to swim across, I think. And, uh, yeah, we're going to have, hopefully, a fairly chill episode. Now, if you watched my Manor and Brass episode yesterday, you'll know that at the time of recording, I am, right now, at, all being well, at the tail end of a COVID infection. So, um, yeah, that that's has been... That has been a thing. Um, it hasn't gone away. Does anybody who thought that maybe because you didn't hear about it anymore it had gone away? It's still with us. It's the gift that keeps on giving. And uh, and I, well, I mean, we know it's a, it's a virus. It's going to be with us forever now. We're just going to have to live with it. Um, unless we're very lucky and we're to get the kind of scenario where Oh, hello, what are you? What is down here anyway? Yeah, let's just have a look. What have we got? A mining bag. Ooh, that is nice. That can only hold stones, ores, minerals, and metals. Interesting. So that's going to be really useful going forward. We'll take you. We'll take you. I'm not really that bothered about a rib cage, but we'll take it anyway. And we'll definitely take the durably copper hoe. Uh, we shall chop that down. Because oh, well, then there's actually some bony. And we'll have you as well. Or, or we won't, as the case may be in the case of that one. All right, let me, let me grab my thing. Because I don't want to be wasting timber as fuel when we are virtually on top of a peat reserve because this stuff was a really useful fuel in my last playthrough so I am going to have to assume that it's going to maintain that status in this playthrough and I'm probably going to drop some bone when broken I don't, uh, mm. Don't want it. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I mean, I'm going to pick it up any minute, but you know, um, yeah. So I'll grab, I'll grab the peat, and uh, and I will, I will also mark. Let's have a look. We'll leave the peat marker on there, but that covers us for that. That's where I think there is a dungeon. There's some turnips over there. Uh, Probably some wheat over there. I need to go and have check out that grave. There's obviously them butterflies are always startling me. I'm always like, whoa, there's something moving and it's just a butterfly. Um yeah, so we'll grab a few stacks of wow. Stack. And and what I do need to look at, which is always I think a driving force in, in vintage story, is once you've got your food situation sorted is to start looking at your inventory situation because Lord knows I am not uh, I am not a good person when it comes to inventory at the best of times. So what does that stack to then? Is that 128? I think I'll take it. That burns at things. Now we can H, we can obtain it's an ingredient for dryable peat brick. Okay, that burns for 500 and it needs to dry for 120 hours. And what do we do with you? Oh, we, we basically presumably dry it somewhere. Okay, I need to I need to dig that up. Maybe peat is not the amazing fuel it used to be because it only burns to 500 for starters. Although it's still burnable, so... 
and it stacks to 128. Okay, I'll take it. I'll uh, I'll get myself a couple of stacks, three stacks, and uh, and I'll be back in a mo. All right, we we got uh, three stacks of peat and a, a, an assortment of other things, and we are still waiting for that to move through. But that that was a good good little haul. Um, we probably need to find. I, well, no, probably about it. I do need to come up with a better storage solution for what I have got because I uh, I've definitely got a lot of garbage floating around in here. Uh, we have got uh, that at least. That can go in there for the time being. As can that roll hat. I don't know what that gives us if anything along with the grave thing and the hoe can go somewhere uh, there for now and that leaves me with a whole load of peat and some aged wooden planks which probably are going to have to go in there for now right let's have a look at peat Dried peat brick is created by curing and it burns to a temperature of 900. Okay, so let's have a look at curing. Drying. Everything. Search for curing. Tutorials. Okay back start am I just gonna have to do that jump control to sneak shift and W to sprint okay yeah I'm I'm doing it come on Okay, there's definitely nothing in there. Let's um, stop. That's your lot, is it? Okay, right. Charcoal burning, priming, panning, temporal steel making, coke ovens, weathers, pies, dyeing, ground storage, leather making, first steps. Oh, that's everything, isn't it? Okay. Guides. Starting on progression. Let's have a look. There's got to be something about this drying. There's no mentioning of this in here. Shelter, preparing for winter. Da da da. Okay. What we've got flint, napping, baskets, baskets, meal cooking. Uh, I am just going to hunt through this. I'm not going to sit here and force you to listen to my muttering as I go. So um, I'll be back in a moment. All right, I'm back. Um, Pete's situation is solved. Uh, well, it's not solved. It's um, it's avoided, shall we say? Um, so the the issue was, I had a mod in which I thought looked cool at the time, which was a dried peat thing. The idea was, you get more your peat extends further if you dry it. I think is that wow that was a lot of peat however um it turns out that the the peat is actually not usable in some of the things when you turn it into a dry thing so the mod was a bit flawed so yeah we'll we'll ignore that and pretend that didn't happen i i've removed the mod because it wasn't a thing uh it wasn't something i wanted to keep uh, we've also got peat up there, actually, which is even close. Well, it's probably about the same. There's a whole area over here which I want to do, but I'm positive there's a wolf. Uh, let's go and... What time are we at? 4.15. Let's have a quick run over and try and get that, um, that last grave. Because I think we should be able to do it before nightfall. I love the fact that I can carry a lit torch in my inventory, but I can't actually get it out when I'm swimming. That defies 
all all logic but uh oh well there you go such is life was there anything left in here or did i actually get it all i honestly can't remember i mean i have a, it doesn't look like it goes any deeper so unless there's something under under this gravel which there could be um there's definitely bricks there then uh things. but that's maybe something to play with and uh, try and excavate later when we're not quite so uh desperate but the sun is is dropping it's a still beautiful game they've, they've done a really good job taking what was originally just a gay well as i understand it the original inspiration for this was um was terra firma craft and they basically wanted to rewrite terra firma craft as a standalone thing and and i think they did a really good job with it and such to the extent that it's it's now gone beyond that and it's now a game in its own right so, i mean there is no there is no doubting the inspiration for this. You know, I don't think anybody anybody will ever look at this game and go, "Ah, oh, I wonder what wonder what gave him the idea for that." I just can't see that ever ever being a thing. You know, but um, I'm gonna grab that anyway because again, every bit of every bit of forage food that I can have while we while it's available saves me a great deal of food later potentially anyway um because it means i can keep the food that is good and well, i wish I, I, I hope I, uh, oh there's nothing in it anyway great let's just get rid No, you're not letting me have that one either. Okay. Oh yes, you are. Okay, that's good. We'll uh, we'll set we'll we'll let you off. I will have that one piece of bony dirt, however. Uh, and we can remove that marker. There's still. I mean, that's a road. I think. Oh, there's still a grave down there. I just don't think I'll be able to get there in time. No, I think. I think I'm just going to have to take my time and and grow the crops and just keep exploring. Um, and yeah, we'll potentially and in theory, you know, find all sorts of nice little things. I mean, I keep bumping into new stuff in the area that I've already explored and I'm like oh did not know that was there there were those turnips and maybe I can get down to those if I'm suitably quick and there's also some what looks to be some black currants up there so we'll, uh, we'll grab those as well so that was not what I wanted to do was it now huh? um, uh, the bush is, however, dead now. We we can be sure that that bush will pose no no more threats to anybody. Right, let's have a look. Turnips, they may not be ripe. It doesn't matter. I'm after the seed. Uh, I'm after the seeds. Uh, any more for any more? Oh, there's some more um, black currants over here. Uh, and we'll, uh, where am I, I'll get myself on my marker, we'll delete that so I don't need to worry about that one, again, clearing, marking things on your map is, uh, it, to me, is, is one of the most vital things of early early gameplay of, of any survival game, not just this one, I can see some turnips over there, um, you know, you mark them and you've got the always got the opportunity then there's another turnip lovely um you've always got the opportunity to come back and 
and get them later. Uh, but clearing your map of those markers can be just as important, otherwise you end up with no idea of what it is you're actually trying to achieve. Um, and the map becomes very cluttered, so the markers lose their value over time if you end up getting too much on the map. So, yeah, definitely, definitely clear now. I don't need that because I am absolutely fine for uh, um, lime stone. Uh, so we'll be able to get the lime when we do that. So I think the next thing I need to do is if I want to be able to... Oh, hello, Rye. We'll take the seeds if I can get it. Oh, yeah, there's a seed. Oh, and a bit more. And a bit more. If I can now get myself to a position where I am able to carry a little bit more. It doesn't have to be a lot. But a little bit more and I have got a uh, backpack mod on here so we should be able to in theory I'm not going to get any more of the harvest any more of those berries because I'm going to struggle to eat them all before they go off anyway and I've still got some uh, some bread in my inventory just to give you an idea of how ludicrous things are. I also need to harvest a whole load of clay because I need to get more storage stuff done so, my first job, I think, will be, well, my first job will actually be planting. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three. So there's some heat stunting going on here, but again, that is fine. Um... Yeah, everything's growing, so all good. Looking nice and light in here now, and I need to do do start need to start thinking about what I'm going to do for setup and storage and things in here. So that's another aspect that I do need to take into account. There's another one of them. Have you got any of you got some sand in you? Or did I just throw it away last time? I think I probably just threw it away, to be honest. Uh, grave. Yeah, a bit of bone. Doesn't really matter. This all just needs to go somewhere. And I'll I'll pop the turnips away just because we can. Right. So, more stuffs and more storage. Those are our objectives and missions. Uh, let me have a look, H, uh, items. So, normally we have the, if we actually go into guides and get rid of, and just have a look at, um, Anything about storage in there? Leather making covers you. No. Everything. Guide blocks and items. So normally you go from your linen. You've got your sack. Which has got four slots. And then you would have your. Uh, I think it went from there. You went to backpack didn't you? Which was there. Which was six slots. However there is a basic linen backpack. Tall linen backpack, mini linen backpack, uh, and then you get to here. This is the one your mini linen backpack has eight slots and it uses rope, flax, hand baskets, linen, or a linen sack. So, uh, a knife and some firewood, and you'll get those. So, we can go to there and then. If we have a look at linen, you've got your mini is the ingredient for a tall, which is the ingredient for a basic, which is the ingredient for a super, which goes to a mega, 
and and that's where you are getting into some serious investment you know but the linen backpack might be the uh, the fix we are looking for so let's have a look i should have somewhere in one of my storage vessels either i can't see it or i'm missing it uh well we've definitely got that we've got flax have we not got any linen pre-made I'm going to say no unless it's in my valuables. Just the last place it could be. Oh, let me have a look over here then. Locust parts. Don't know if they're any use of anything. Mining bag and stuff. No, I don't think we've got that. So, let's have a, have a look. Linen. mini linen backpack is linen a basket so we need the hand basket let's go and grab that uh, if we have a look at that that can be used to make you so I need rope rope is made with those or those or those I think we can probably manage it with this then. One, two, that's three. But I, I am running low on the rest of the stuff I need. I've got that, however. So, one, two three so I'm probably only going to be able to make one basket so I've got three and three uh, I've got that I need I mean I suppose I could just use yeah let me go and grab a couple of firewood So if I were to come and take, hmm, yeah, this is a problem. If I take that out, I lose, well, that's simple enough. I have to lose those four slots. And that goes there. And we're putting you in. Actually, we need to make... Two of those first. Uh, they went there, I think. Those, that, that. We've got that goes in. That. What am I missing? So two, one. two two and one makes me a linen backpack now what's why is that it just shows you the the pack okay that's fine I can live with that so we can make another one of those simple enough with the bits and pieces we are possibly a little bit light on those. I've got enough for one, I think. I just need to make rope, and I can't do that with what I've got currently, I don't think. Because that's enough for one. I need enough for six. Okay, well, that's fine. We are still in a better position than we were, and uh, we can go out and hunt for the makings of another one in the morning. I will see you in a bit. All right, because I'm doing a lot of work around this area and I'm going to go harvest a whole load of reeds because there's loads of those that will get me my rope. Um, I think my first thing I should be doing 
is making myself some more raw storage vessels. Um, so, yeah, this is... I've, I've just dug up a load of clay and... We'll get these, I'll get these going, because then they're cooking in the background. Um, all about efficiency of time. So, you know, if we, um, if these are running in the background, I'm doing two jobs at the same time. If I'm running three of them in the background, then I'm actually doing four jobs at the same time. Uh, or at least four tasks at the same time, two different jobs. Um, it's parallel running, isn't it? So what we'll do is we'll duplicate layer. That should... I think this is probably the fastest way of creating these, because otherwise you just end up... Um, shifting between forms on a regular basis. Uh, the clay will over there will come in handy and, and obviously as the castle... Oh, hello. That was not what I wanted to do. Right. And then we jump in. This is what happens when you talk and try and talk and do things at the same time. Um, but you see, once we've done one of these, well, th the one layer like this on both all three of them then I can go into copy mode and just it'll be a lot faster in theory in practice probably not but then once these are going we're good um, it's interesting actually I was I was just thinking about this the other day um, because I noticed and I don't know how many of you are followers of Hermitcraft or any of the uh, any of the people from Hermitcraft but um, it was uh, X X Exhume Void. Um, I was watching, and he was basically on about how he needs to cut back on on the YouTubing side of things um, because he wants to concentrate on his other hobby or passion in life, which is music. Um, and there was a lot of discussion about burn, you know, the build burnout and. And as ever, and, and unsurprisingly, and I've spoken about this before, the the constant drive to, for the mega build, which was um, cited as being one of the issues, and I do think it's an issue. You know, the the concept that you have to do bigger and better because you know you're a YouTuber just seems to me ludicrous. You know the the point of playing the game is to play the game uh, and to enjoy yourself. And if you enjoy yourself doing small builds, detailed, but, you know, impressive and good builds, but small. Or if you enjoy just enjoying the survival aspect of the game, then that's what you should do. Uh, and I know, I think it was Mumbo who had a massive break because he was feeling so much pressure to always one-up himself. And, I mean, don't get me wrong, you should always strive to improve as a as an individual. But... Oh, well, that needs to be in copy mode. But to be constantly having to improve on yourself. And, I mean, when I'm playing something like Vintage Storage... Stor vintage Storage? Yeah, this is Vintage Storage, a game about old chests. No vintage story you know I know for a fact that my builds are not going to be huge and they're not going to be massive and they're going to take in game term you know months or weeks for me to even get to the point where I'm remotely close and and that's fine because The point of these videos, that certainly for me, is sharing a journey, not sharing huge works of art in 
pixel block format. Because... I mean, obviously, that's part of it. You know, the, the end result is always going to be that kind of build and stuff. But it's, it's the journey and having the chance to talk about utter bollocks like this, for example. Um, and just, just enjoy the the thing which is the game which we all were all playing and watching together oh, that's going to be a, just a copy then that's fine uh, and there's no this is not a pot with a hole at the top so this is great I just need to go and do that so yeah I, I'm not sure I mean I, I sometimes sit there and go well this is going to be another episode of me just you know, surviving and making small incremental steps. But but reality, that is, is what we're playing. We're playing a game where we're surviving and making small incremental steps. You know, we're not playing a, a game where one day I've got that and then the next day all of the walls and the gatehouse and the keeper, everything are in. I could do that. It would take you probably end up with one episode a month because I'd be uh, with little three minute clips here of this is what I've done so far. Um, it is not to me uh, a format which would be enjoyable um, to record or watch. You know, I could sit there, just play the game by myself for several hours and then just come and say, hey, everybody, look what I made last week. Uh, and on occasion, you know, you know, I've done a few where it's like, oh, I did this between episodes because I know I know I've done a lot of that content before, for example. But um, yeah, it's a it's a strange one. Uh, I'm going to take some peat, actually. Uh, I think we'll use peat. And I, how are we for stickage? Have I got much in the way of stickage? Have I got spare stickage? I have got spare stickage. Uh, so if I take that... Oh, hang on. Slurp that up. There you go. Right. That'll do. That should get me those three going. And then I can continue on trying to make myself some more inventory. Which means that and then we can go for another trip over to the ruins over there and actually come back with most of the stuff we actually want. Which sounds wonderful as an option, doesn't it? Rather than going, oh, what can I carry? Okay, and... That's your straw... Oh, it's stickage next, isn't it? I love the modelling of this. I mean, you know, the fact that they could have just clipped those through and I don't think anybody would have complained. Well, maybe... I don't think many people would have complained. They would have accepted that it was a valid creative decision to... Uh, to do that but no they didn't they they did it proper and they uh and they made some nice some nice imagery right rope baskets lots and lots of lots and lots and lots of these uh cattails that's what we want next i'll be back in a bit all right, we have done uh, a, a small amount of uh, reed harvesting. Uh, I use the word facetiously. Uh, it is getting dark. It is nearly eight o'clock at night. Um, fire pits are still burning, and our crops are still growing. Uh, they are nearly ready. If those if those trip over, that might be the the necessaries for a, a further. Uh, thing, but let me get one, two, three, four, five, four, 
Five. Six of those again. So I think we can put the clay away. We can eat. Oh, and the peat can go away as well. We can eat that. Uh, that can come down. That can all come down. That can come down. Uh, you can just go into a suitable storage spot. Uh, I'm just running out of spaces to stash stuff, really. That's, that's the biggest problem. You know what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And I should somewhere have... There they are. One, two. Let's stop beating around the bush and let us make that. And then for now it can go for now it can go there. And that can just hold on to all of that for the time being, as well as that. And then we can take you with one of those, two of those, a kniff, that and that. That gives me a second one of those. That comes out, comes down here. And we can pull all that back out. And then I've got one of those and we need to make another reed basket. Which, let me just have a look. Recipe H, not R, it's one of those. Uh, no. Try that again. H, that. So it's just double. So if I make another reed basket, and grab myself one of those. One, two, three, four, five, six. couple of logs and then all I need is to find the makings of that was too many logs so again we're going to come in with that and that recipe with those I mean I'm using one extra flax basically um, and I've just got to throw in that all all that prep away haven't I um, so that with that and those plus that gives me three so that's more storage than we had at the start and i've still got one slot unoccupied which right now i could put in the mining bag um uh, and just the things that will go into there would go in there, but I'd much rather have an eight slot, which would be to there. That's going to be massive. Okay, let me let me just put that away for now. Let me just have a look at. Uh, I want to make just normal linen and we can do it that way. Sheets of linen can be used for you. Okay, yep, yeah, we do need to do all of that at some point. Can you not? Maybe you can't. I'm just wondering whether you can not break things down, but um, that's certainly...
Paint brick. Paint brick. Oh, maybe, maybe that has changed the rules of stacking stuff back. Okay, that's fine. I mean, it's 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 to be expected. The uh, right, that's sixty-four. Everything's good. Uh, I need to eat. That's got four days. That's got twenty hours. And I've just thrown it on the floor. Right, so I just need to find myself some more flax twine. Um, and... I think we might take a trip out to the ruin tomorrow and just get some more because there's a good chance that there may be some forage or harvest crop flax. You can find flax in ruins basically is what I'm trying to say in a, a kind of a roundabout way. So we'll check on my flax crops which I strongly suspect are kaput or, or, or not there. Or if they are there there won't be enough harvest off of them. And we'll take a stroll Yeah, they're not there. We're going to take a stroll back up to the ruins over there. I will see you in a bit. Just spotted a grave that I don't think I'd spotted before. Um, what have you got? A crow mask, plate doctor mask, a wooden pan and some gears. Okay, well... Uh, We'll take these out so they are not entirely sure what the uh, where's my spear gone? What the rationale is between the ones that break and you don't get other ones? Maybe this is just a fragility to them. I don't know. Um, now where where are we? We are here. There's definitely some kind of ruin there, so we'll kind of try and steer in that direction. Um, obviously what I really want to do is go back to the ruins that I know about. But, um, you know, I've not been in every single place, so, so for example, growing turnips, well, don't mind if I do. Uh, they might give me some seeds, uh, which they did. And then there's plenty of ripe, uh, ripe berry bushes, and I've, but I've got loads of food on me. Um, and I think, looking at this, let's just have a look at the map again. Yeah, it's kind of directly over there, so I might as well just swim. I can't see any any significant reason to walk around other than you know whoa that's deep and not in a meaningful way <laughs> you can't see when you go under that is some seriously impressive depth on that lake Find a lake where you might expect to find a Nessie. <laughs> uh, right, so I think the ruin is over there, but I did spot some turnips over there, so we'll... Uh, this, is, this, is, uh, this is the problem with vintage story for me. I, I've increased my inventory considerably, so that is going to be invaluable. You know, there, there's absolutely no doubt about it. Well, uh, there's some crops down there as well, but increasing my inventory changes everything. Um, oh, that didn't pick up that. Okay. Um, but every time I come out, I find other stuff that was like super duper interesting. <laughs> And before I know it, the inventory which was spent so long expanding so I could come out and do the job that I wanted to do when I came out, 
is now full and uh, no longer viable as a thing. And this particular ruin is going to be even more awkward because he's hiding everything, which is really nice of it. But they shouldn't be too difficult to find. We'll just come down. We'll have that. Let's put that out of the way. Grab. Gib. Thank you. Somewhere in here there should be some loot. Question is how deep I have to go. We're getting that. Right, what are you? You are a seed vessel. And you had turnip seeds, which is perfect because that was what I've been picking up. Or at least any significant quantities of. And there's another one there. Your forage. B grenade. And some dirt, and we'll get rid of that. I will have this just because it's it's for valuable. I need to, oh, and now I've got that pan, I can actually start utilizing it, can't I? Okay, well that's uh, that was worth a little bit of a detour for. So now we just need to get to there. So, yeah, I'll be back in a moment. All right, we are over at the ruins. Uh, I am going to just get a screenshot because I don't think I'm going to get a lot. Now, I didn't <laughs> bring my bed with me, uh, which is going to be a problem. However, I got a copper falx, which is doing 3.8 versus 3.5. So I think that is a better option there. I did pick up the um, the oh what's the word I'm looking for? The stuff. That's food so let's have a look what we've got in there. Spelt, uh, spelt grain. Uh, no, not spelt. That's uh, means something completely different. Uh, and I don't think apart from the this one this is forage so oh wow what did we pick up there? Uh, and what can I get rid of? More to the point now, I'm, uh, I'm kind of over encumbered. Now that was, that was fire clay. I'm not worried about fire clay. I'll have this because now, is there anything further down? No, that looks to be the depth of it so but I'm probably going to have to kind of hide out on top of this tower if I can for the night uh, I do however want that honey the clay actually the grass is the least useful there um, And I don't, I mean, the aged wooden planks, I'm you see, I'm tempted to come back at some point and harvest all of these um, lovely looking planks, because it really is a nice looking wood. However, I think the gods might be angry with me. <laughs> and stopping here might not be the wisest of choices but it's getting very dark, uh, late so I think what we can do is we'll take our our thing and we're just going to basically honker down for the night I don't think there's much else we can do over here and and then probably just 
just take those out, that works. Hope. So I've got food. I mean, and there's lots of forage. Um, and I think we will continue this next episode. Um, because I'm going to have to make some decisions about what I take and what I leave. I mean, I can eat a single turnip. Um, do you know, I, I am of dubious impact. That, for example, crow mask. Interesting. We've got a noble mask. And if I... If I look at my... Is it a C? Uh, I'm wearing... What am I currently wearing? The survivor mask. So, the crow mask is terrifying. The noble mask is even worse. So, yeah, that's a thing. But I do need to actually also start thinking my Commodore coat, for example, is... Is in, is, is in zero it's got zero condition I need to look to get that sorted my armor's okay I can probably leave the clay behind the oak seeds I can probably I'll probably just plant them that I can leave um, but I will see you next episode until then thanks for watching guys I'll see you soon bye for now mm -hmm.